Hey guys, it's Death Adder, and I'm home at the death shop again. Going without the mess because it's not so bad, and although it was hazy coming back home, uh, it doesn't look like it's too smoky out there. It doesn't smell like it anyway. Just wanted to come back, show you the horror show because I knew there was going to be one. That's a few little strawberries that I got out of my garden out of the whole time that I was gone. At least the tomatoes came out alright. I only lost like a couple tomatoes, but I'm going to show you. Uh, I show you the good stuff and the bad stuff about leaving town. Mother Nature has this way of giving me harvests when uh, when I'm doing that, no matter what time of the year it is. So <laughs> I say touche again. Anyway, I'm going to show you one the bad, the ugly part. Okay, this hole here, hole hill here. Ugh. All that red that's on the hill, that's the strawberries that I pulled out that had bite marks in them. That we did. Good news is, take a look. Dahlia down below that I wasn't sure going to flower. There we go, we got flowers on it, so that's nice. Tomatoes still ripening over here, but I got a few of those out of there. And a bunch more still going on, so that's alright. Cantaloupes are still working. <laughs> Not ready to go yet. This I'm going to have to do a severe job to keep that blueberry up and going because of the raspberries that just will not quit trying to grow where they're not supposed to grow. And speaking of raspberries, birds didn't eat as many raspberries as I wanted them to while I was gone. Which means I'm now going to have to pick. But I'm not going to pick until I'm done. Here's the surprise though. Look at these dahlias. Letting the honeybees do their thing too, but take a look at how beautiful that is. And this one. I mean, and even the mystery days up here. The dahlias are out of this world. In fact, that's a darn near perfect dahlia right there. Got a couple tips that are that are done or fallen off or broken. I'm assuming it's because the deer still came through, or maybe just for the mere fact that they fell over due to wind or whatever, I don't know. It looks like the second pulling up of the raspberries worked. They're all staying up. I had to pull it up twice. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here because as you can see this beautiful blow bar to choke. <laughs> I'm going to get at least one decent one this year. There we go. Got that one that's still trying. Probably throw some water on it tonight. I think maybe there might be one right there. I'm gonna have to eat these because a couple in my fridge, they actually last quite a while in the fridge. So I'm happy with that. But I think that this mystery day right here, this one, this is so perfect that I think I'm gonna chop it. And this will go on my table. I'm gonna need to use First, I want to chop at an angle. Second thing, second. I want to make sure there's no bugs in here. There's a couple ants that I saw. I think they're the flying variety, which kind of sucks because down here. That's where they're nesting, and if that is, what I'll do is I'll bring some taro up here, and then adios muchachos. But take a look at those big ones right there. Holy camoly on that. I like these ones that look like buttons though. I do like the ones that spring out like that, but I like the buttons a little bit more. And these ones from Bouchard turned into a magnificently wonderful bush. Look at that. That is unreal. I'm gonna have to get a picture of that. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off right here at the top of my garden. So I mean, I can take a couple pictures. Anyway, stiff that her. I'll catch you later <laughs> with an artichoke. <laughs> and, well, you know, this is the sad part of when you're growing. Sometimes when you go on vacation, you come back and things aren't quite uh, as nice as you would like to be. But still, I'm going to get some stuff off of here. And I'll get some more raspberries for sure because the birds did eat them. Anyway, take care.
take care guys we'll see ya